Hey, this is Dave from Unipro. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the latest Facebook content algorithm update. It's a massive change that's gonna dramatically affect who sees your Facebook content. Now I leverage the latest Facebook algorithm update with this particular piece of content. And let's take a look. This was a live video done inside one of my Facebook groups. And when we go down to the insights, you're gonna see something pretty amazing here. You can see that in this case, 1200 people were reached with this particular post and there were over 2,600 engagements. And the reason I was able to get this post seen by so many people and get so many engagements was simply by doing what the latest algorithm wants me to do. And you can do this as well. All your posts can be seen by more people and you can get way more engagements when you follow the latest Facebook algorithm update. So let's dive in. There's more content being posted on Facebook than ever before. In fact, every single day, there's 4.75 billion posts made on Facebook. That's crazy, almost 5 billion posts made every day on Facebook. And while there's almost 5 billion posts created, each individual user can only see about 1,500 posts. So you can imagine there's more content competing for fewer eyeballs. It's so competitive. That's why if your posting strategy is just to post more content, it's not gonna work for you going forward. In fact, the latest Facebook algorithm was designed specifically to kill the post more strategy. And I know that might be painful to hear, especially if you're someone who posts every day or multiple times per day, but Facebook is specifically trying to focus on the quality of content being posted, not the quantity. So the post more strategy, yeah, it might've worked in the past, but the latest Facebook algorithm, it's gonna kill that strategy. And here's what you need to do instead if you wanna get more people seeing your content and engaging on your content. The first thing you need to do is to simply understand what the algorithm is all about. And the Facebook algorithm is really just a mathematical equation designed to predict predict what type of content people want to see in their newsfeed. So the updated algorithm is designed to do a better job of saying which 1500 posts should you see or your leads see inside their feed and which of the remaining should get pushed away. That's what the algorithm is designed to do. And if you've been building a business on Facebook for any length of time, you already understand that. You understand what the purpose of the algorithm is. But the next question is, okay, if Facebook wants to pluck 1500 posts and give those to an individual newsfeed every single day, how does it determine which 1500 to pick? And I'm gonna show you something because this is a massive change in the latest algorithm update. I'm gonna show you two examples. Here's a post, this is from my personal news feed that I made. And when we go down here, you can see 187 likes, 71 comments and a share. I'm gonna open up my insights and you're gonna see the total engagements on this particular piece of content was 380. Now, the old algorithm used to say, if you get more engagements, your post is just gonna be seen by more and more people. But is that still true? Let's take a look. This post has 380 engagements and there were just over 2000 people who saw this particular piece of content. Now we're gonna contrast that versus a different post. Let me go over to this post. In this post here, let's come on down and take a look at the insights here. And you can see in this post, there was only 212 engagements. So 212 engagements on this post, Back over here, there were 380. But notice something interesting, those 380 engagements, remember about 2,000 people saw that post. Over here, this post only got 212 engagements, yet almost 2,200 people saw this post. So Facebook actually chose to take the post with less engagement and it showed that post to more people. Clearly this is different from how the algorithm used to work. Well, why would Facebook do that? Why would it show more people a piece of content that got less engagement? And the reason is Facebook has realized that it can reach its goal by changing its algorithm. Facebook's goal is to keep people longer on Facebook. We all know that. The more people who stay on Facebook for a longer period of time, they're gonna see more ads and Facebook's gonna make more money. And Facebook has now realized that keeping people on the platform, it's not just about engagements, not just about likes and comments and shares, it's about quality of content. Higher quality content posted on Facebook keeps people's attention longer, and therefore that allows Facebook to achieve its goal. And Facebook has been very blatant with this. It specifically told us this. It said, coming up with an algorithm to detect this, this referring to high quality content. So it's creating an algorithm to detect high quality content. It's complex. We built a new machine learning system to detect content defined as high quality. The system uses over a thousand different factors. So Facebook has been very transparent in saying we're not just using likes, we're not just using comments, we're not just using shares. There's over a thousand different factors that will determine if your content is high quality. If your content is high quality, your content is gonna get seen by a whole lot more people on Facebook. So the next question is, well, what are those a thousand factors and what can we actually do to make sure that we're following this new Facebook algorithm? Well, Facebook got very practical with this and it boiled down these thousand factors to just three things that you need to do in order to make sure that your content abides by the latest Facebook algorithm. Here are the three. The first is to ask yourself, would people share this post? The second is, would they recommend it to their friends? 
And the third is, would they want to see it in their newsfeed? And Facebook has told us, if you can answer yes to these three questions, then chances are your content quality is very high. And chances are the new algorithm is going to show your content to a lot more people. Pretty cool, right? That's very practical. Well, now how can you actually answer these questions? How do you know if people would actually like to share your posts? How would you know if people actually would recommend your posts? How would you know if they want to see your content in their newsfeed? Well, we can determine these things by going over to your Facebook professional mode dashboard. Let me show you. Here I am over in my professional dashboard. And actually, before we dive in, I'm going to show you how to get there. I'm going to go over to my profile. And then you want to click on these three dots and you want to make sure that your professional mode is turned on. So you can see right here, it says turn off professional mode. That's because I have mine turned on. You want to make sure yours is turned on as well. And then once you've turned on professional mode, every post that you make thereafter will start tracking statistics for you. And then you can go into view tools and we're going to click on your profile. And this is the page inside your professional dashboard that reveals the quality of your Facebook content. And once inside here, there's four different numbers that we're going to look at. So let's walk through these together. The first is your engagement rate. And that's the percentage of people who see your posts who actually choose to engage on your posts. And you might say, Dave, I thought we just said that the algorithm isn't all about engagements. And that's true. It's looking for quality content, but engagements is still a factor, a ranking factor that helps Facebook predict whether your content is high quality or not. So we want to look at your engagement rate and here's how to do that. I'm going to go down here and I'm looking at this number here, post engagement. And so you can see in this case, my post engagement, I've had almost about 7,000 engagements in the last 28 days on my posts on my personal profile. And then what I want to do is I want to divide that number by the total number of people who have been reached by my posts. And so you can see in this case, there's about 9,300 people who have seen my posts. And so simple math, you're just going to simply take this number, the post engagement and divide it by this number, the post reach, that's going to give you a percentage. In this case, mine's roughly 70%. Usually my post engagement is somewhere between 60 and 80%. And what that tells Facebook is that when Facebook takes one of my posts from the 4.75 billion posts that are made every day, and it puts it into someone's newsfeed, there's about a 60 to 80% chance that when that person sees that post, they're going to engage on it. And so you probably want to know, well, what's a good number? Well, the higher the number, the better, the closer you are to one, the better. So in this case, I'm at somewhere between 0.6 to 0.8, 60 to 80%. And that is quite high. You might do the calculation and find that yours is 10 to 20%, in which case you'll see that there's room to grow your engagement. And while the latest Facebook algorithm isn't solely reliant on engagement, it does use those engagements as a factor to determine the quality of your content. That's the first factor. The second number that you want to look at here is down in the section under interactions and it's shares. Remember, Facebook specifically told us that we should be asking ourselves when we create content, would someone share this? And so when I take a look at this, I see that 14 of my posts have been shared. Now you might look at this and think, well, only 14 posts, that doesn't sound like a lot. Or maybe when you look at yours, you've only got one or two shares. But I wanna encourage you not to beat yourself up because this is highly dependent on the type of content that you're creating and the audience that you're creating for. I'm gonna show you an example over here. So here's an example of a Facebook reel. And this is just a funny reel about some basketball net that was mounted on a wheel that moves back and forth. And you can see that this has 193 shares. I'm gonna go over to one of my reels. I'm gonna to go to this one here. And this is talking about the legal way to get more Facebook profiles, this only has one share. Does that mean that Facebook looks at this particular piece of content and says this is low quality while a moving basketball net is high quality? No, it's highly dependent on who the audience is for. My particular piece of content is for business owners who are growing their businesses on Facebook. It's a pretty niche audience. Therefore, there are going to be fewer people who see a piece of content like this and also fewer shares compared to a piece of content like this that's just a general entertainment type piece of content. So going back to shares, you definitely want to see that your content is being shared. That specifically tells Facebook you have share content, but don't stress out too much about the total number of shares. Third, you'll remember that Facebook asked the question, would people recommend your content to their friends? Well, how do you know if people would recommend your content? Here's one way. I'm going to go over to one of my posts inside one of our Facebook groups here. It's called Audience and Influence. And this particular post was a live training. You can see it says Facebook compliant. This is a sales script for selling $200 up to $25,000 offers to Facebook leads. And when I scroll through here, you can see there's 638 comments. So a lot of engagement on this particular piece of content. But here's what I want to show you. As I scroll down to the bottom, you'll notice that there are people who start doing this. They're tagging their friends on this particular piece of content. So in this case, Kevin here, he saw this post. He saw this live training. Not only did he think, wow, this is high value, 
but he also told Facebook, this is such high value that I'm gonna tag my friends, I'm gonna recommend this to my friends, they need to have this in their newsfeed as well. And this is exactly what Facebook is looking for. Facebook is looking for people to recommend your content so that Facebook can be sure your content is high quality. Now in this live training, we got dozens and dozens of recommendations like that. How do we do that? Well, the first thing is we did put out a very high quality piece of content. This is super high value for anyone who's trying to sell through Facebook. But secondly, we asked for those recommendations. During this live training, as we gave value, we asked the audience to tag people in the comment section who would also benefit from the content that we were giving out. So we were doing exactly exactly what the latest Facebook algorithm is looking for. We're producing high quality content and then we're asking our audience to tell the Facebook algorithm that it is high quality by recommending our content to other people. Now we're gonna go back to your professional mode dashboard and we're gonna look at one more number here. You'll remember the new Facebook algorithm, it's asking three questions. Would people share your content? Would it recommend your content? And then do people wanna see your content in their newsfeed? Well, how do we know if people wanna see your content in the newsfeed? We can tell using two numbers shown right down here. The first is hide all posts and the second is unfollows and both of these are in indicators that people do not want to see your content in their newsfeed. Ow, that hurts. So you want to have the lowest number of hide all posts and the lowest number of unfollows as possible. Let me show you where these actually show up in your content. I'm going to go over to my newsfeed here and here's a post from my friend Corey. I'm going to click on the three dots. Now imagine that I was sick of Corey's content. I thought it was low value. I wanted it out of my newsfeed. I could tell Facebook, I want to see fewer posts like this. So I want to hide this post. And that's specifically telling Facebook's latest algorithm update that this is low quality content. Similar, I could go and unfollow Corey. And this is telling Facebook, not only do I not want to see this particular post, but I don't want to see any of Corey's posts. And if I were to do that, if I were to unfollow Corey over in his professional mode dashboard, he would have seen an unfollow show up here. Now, I don't want you to stress out. If you see a few hide all posts and unfollows here, it's not the end of the world. But if you notice that these are increasing, that suggests that the type of content that you're putting out to the world isn't what people want to see in their newsfeed. And they're telling the new Facebook algorithm that they don't want to see it. Therefore, Facebook's going to take your posts from the 4.75 billion posts that are made every day. It's going to take a few of your posts and put them into people's newsfeed. So we do want to minimize these numbers. Now, I'll give you a little trick. One way that I minimize my unfollows and hide posts is by posting the majority of my business content inside of a Facebook group. Again, I'm in my audience and influence group here, and I know that people have made a conscious decision to join this group. Therefore, they're saying, yes, I want to see your business content. Yes, I want to use Facebook to grow my online business. So the chance of them unfollowing me or hiding my posts that are being made inside this Facebook group that they chose to join is very low. And that's why I want to get as many leads into this group as possible so they see content that they've asked for. And if you're interested in growing a Facebook group that you own, we've recorded an entire training that shows how we add 10,000 plus members to any Facebook group, any niche, any industry. This works for any Facebook group. And the three-step strategy that we use is 100% for free. You don't have to pay for Facebook ads. I'll put a link in the description, click on that, and you can access the strategy that we use to grow all of our Facebook groups. So to recap, the latest Facebook algorithm is all about content quality. And Facebook is using three different metrics, three questions to determine whether or not the content that you're putting out is of high quality. It's asking, would people share this content? Would people recommend it to their friends? And then do people want to see this content inside their newsfeed? If you can answer yes to those three questions, the new algorithm is going to favor you and your content is going to be seen by more people. You're going to get more leads and your business is going to grow as a result. And for me, I am creating content that this new algorithm will love, but in full transparency, I do have a secret weapon and that secret weapon is called Unipro. Unipro is a tool that goes out on a Facebook. It finds my ideal leads. It brings those leads over into my audience. It fills up my Facebook group, make sure that my leads see my content content and it encourages them to engage in my posts so the Facebook algorithm favors my content and shows it to even more people. If you're going a business on Facebook, you got to check out Unipro. Go over to unipro.com. I know you're going to love it. That's it for this video. If this video was helpful, give it a like. And if you have any questions or comments about the latest Facebook algorithm update, go ahead and leave those in the comments below. I'm happy to help out. And again, if you're growing a business on Facebook and you want to speed up your growth, you want to get more leads, you want to get more clients, you want to make more money, you got to check out Unipro. Go over to unipro.com. It's been a game changer for me. I know it's going to be a game changer for your business as well. Thanks for checking out this video. Can't wait to see you in the next video.